well, I continue being Maria Luisa in Echaluce and I continue being working at the University of Zaragoza and uh, in, in collaboration with the Technical University of Madrid and University of Salamanca, we offer here uh, that the, the idea that the, uh, all of this work is uh, focused on the idea of exchanging educational innovation experiences, the need of uh, exchanging these uh, experiences. Uh, we, focus, uh, we, we use a repository of uh, good practices in, uh, on uh, educational innovation. Uh, I will show some results and, uh, about uh, indicators of educational innovation as a result of a uh, survey, uh, of, well, several surveys of uh, and the conclusions of this uh, work. Well, the, the, the general idea here is that the universities are currently supporting educational innovation. I think uh, everybody is agree that uh, they, uh, they have uh, calls, uh, financial calls, or, or not finance, financial, but uh, at least uh, they are calls, to help uh, the innovation projects, educational innovation projects, they organize conferences and they have repositories to include the resources, academic uh, resources and so on. But one of the problems of this, um, these actions are the repetition because um, well, the, there is no a, a, a common way of uh, storaging this, uh, of managing this, all of these experiences and the, new, the, the same, uh, many times the same experience are repeated in different groups, in different universities, and even a teacher and the teacher uh, close to, 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 the, to, to this teacher is also doing uh, almost the same, because there is no um, a good dissemination, a good uh, organization of these uh, experiences. So in this sense, uh, well, we, we, we call that this uh, action is, uh, is based on the top-bottom uh, transference that uh, it, 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 it starts at the institution, in the institution and uh, goes down uh, to the teachers. But in fact, you know that it's the teacher who is uh, really doing the experiences. And so they uh, start of course, doing uh, resources uh, as, a, as a consequence of the, of the experiences. Uh, the teachers are exchanging expe experiences uh, between them. And uh, in fact, uh, these uh, experiences help to determine, and we think in this work uh, that uh, they, the teachers, the real teachers, are determining the indicators uh, to, to define, to really define the, the, what is the educational innovation. So, um, well, uh, in previous uh, seminars and surveys that uh, we have done, uh, we have uh, asked for university teachers uh, about uh, this, this problem. Now, what, what do you think about uh, uh, what, is the, what are the characteristics of educational innovation? What are the barriers? What are the what? What is helping to you in order to, to do educational innovation and so on? And uh, in this case, in this work, we are going to to change and to ask not only university teachers, but also uh, non-university teachers and even uh, people with a different role, not uh, educator and uh, external to the to the education about uh, what do they think about uh, the, the, educa the, the educational innovation. So the, the results presented here are um, obtained from a massive uh, open online course that we implemented the, the, at, the, at the beginning of this uh, year uh, in, in Miriadax uh, platform. It's, it's called uh, Applied Educational Innovation. So, and the, Second, well, we have done uh, those uh, two, two education, uh, two ed editions. Sorry. Well, uh, again, uh, exactly uh, as in the in the previous uh, paper, 
In the previous paper, I talked about uh, how to manage or um, storage and manage uh, the resources created by students. Okay? So the tags used to storage this kind of uh, resources are, of course, different than uh, the, uh, the tags that we need to storage educational innovation experiences. So, and these tags are uh, defined from uh, the, the previous works that we have done. Uh, we established some categories that I will mention now, and uh, the tags uh, have been obtained uh, from the uh, opinion of the, of the real teachers, uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, teachers we, uh, who do uh, educational innovation. Um, the same repository is, uh, is the same, no, 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 it's the same repository, of course, it's, it's the same tool, the same system, uh, use it, but uh, of course it's a different organization for uh, good practices of uh, educational innovation. Uh, well, uh, I again include some, uh, some explanation about how the, the repository act to, to do a search. It's exactly as in the previous one. And uh, to determine the categories of uh, these indicators of uh, educational innovation, uh, we have focused in uh, educational innovation characteristics, motivation, well, the, uh, all of, uh, of the, the questions in the survey uh, were related with these uh, ideas, these indicators. Uh, what uh, facilitators the, the teachers find or found uh, to do uh, educational innovation in the, uh, in the teacher and during the, the, the teaching uh, tasks. Uh, measures, measures of uh, success or even uh, sources of useful information about uh, educational innovation experiences. Well, in the sense, uh, the, the, as I mentioned it, uh, in the mock uh, was uh, passed the, the survey and the 60%, more than 60% of the participants in the mock uh, did the, the survey. And so it was uh, mm, 1,005 participants uh, do the, did the, the survey. The survey. Well, uh, in this, I'm going to mention only uh, some uh, specific points in the, in the survey. For example, uh, pay attention that, uh, that in this case we have more people not in university teachers than university teachers. And uh, in fact, it, it was what, uh, what uh, we wanted <laughs> because uh, all um, the, t the university teachers uh, had been asked previously. And so we, are in, we were interested here. Well, in fact, uh, the, num the number of uh, non-university students is uh, too, uh, too low and it's not significant. Uh, in relation with the uh, educational innovation characteristics, uh, I pay attention here that the, all of the profiles is uh, university teacher, university students, non-university teacher, non-university students and external uh, participants. All of them think that the, the characteristic of the educational innovation is precisely the effectiveness of the learning research. And they, well, it, it will appear again, and they think this is what defines, in fact, the, the educational innovation. In relation with the motivation uh, to do or to, to implement uh, educational innovation uh, experiences, uh, most of of them think that uh, this is the continuous improvement of educational strategies and the caption of students' interest. For example, it's, it's very funny that uh, for teachers, it's um, a bit more important continuous improvement of educational strategies, what is a very general uh, purpose, uh, than the caption of students' interest, but it, this is the second one. And for students, of course, it's more important the caption of a student's interest for themselves, of course, should be the, the most important. <laughs> and, well, it's, uh, and for all of the profiles, the less important uh, um, motivation 
uh, to do uh, educational innovation is the salary increase. And so, uh, of course, for students, but even for, for teachers, what uh, they, they, this is not important, the salary increase, uh, to do educational innovation experience. In, in the sense of facilitators is what uh, has, uh, what indicators uh, have helped you to, to implement educational innovation. And so in this sense, institutional technological uh, resources uh, is the, the most uh, valued. Is the, well, if they have uh, help of the institution, they want to do these uh, experiences. Uh, in relation with barriers, what uh, uh, the, the most the, the most uh, valued is uh, the resistance to change. Well, all of us know that uh, there are many people that. Uh, who that, that don't want to, to change, uh, the class is always the same, uh, I teach uh, in the same way. Uh, well, and the second one is the ignorance of uh, educational uh, innovation foundations, because in most of the cases we don't know what is the educational innovation characteristics, and so we, 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 we don't know how to apply it. And in relation with the measures, uh, to, to uh, how to measure, measure the, the success of educational innovation is the, the last one, oh, the last, uh, the, the less uh, value is uh, awards received by teachers. It's, this is not important to, to measure the success. And for all of the profiles, the most important to measure the, the, the success of uh, educational innovation experience is learning effectiveness and efficiency of the experience, the student motivation, again, okay, and the active student participation. Well, you, this is a, a good uh, result. And, and the, the last one is the, source, uh, the, uh, the resources of, um, of no, sorry, sources of useful information about the educational innovation. I pay attention in this one. This is the least, the least value, this the, the minus uh, value uh, is the web of the institution. Conclusion, the, the resources and the help included in the webs of the institutions are not useful. Are, well, not in general, but they are, are not uh, usually useful. So, uh, in this sense, in the conclusions, we uh, suggest that uh, uh, educational innovation policies should identify, manage, and offer both institutional, institutional and open resources. Because uh, people say that uh, uh, the resources, the institutional resources are, are important to help them, and also the open uh, resources uh, in internet and also in the institutions. The institutions should reinforce the dissemination of uh, educational innovation practices. The improvement uh, aspects uh, can be used to encourage the application of uh, educational innovation in the sense that uh, uh, the, a good dissemination could, uh, will help to, uh, to teachers uh, to, to apply the educational innovation experiences in a good, uh, in a good way. And the last one is that uh, is, uh, the, uh, all of these this, uh, indicators of effectiveness, effectiveness and efficiency of learning and students' motivation and participation, active participation of students, uh, are very, very useful to evaluate the quality of uh, e-learning uh, of uh, educational innovation experiences. Uh, for example, in, in, at the University of Zaragoza, I am also the director of a virtual campus in the, at the university, and I, I am a member of a tribunal to, to evaluate the in, uh, educational innovation projects. And we realize that uh, this fact that uh, help to, to teachers to, to define the new, uh, a new uh, educational experience, and also to the tribunals uh, to evaluate if uh, this uh, experience is useful and is good, is, uh, is transferable, is, uh, 
this is a, a very important point. Oh, thank you very much.